54 years ago, San Antonio was in a huge final embrace with then President John F. Kennedy. Huge because it would be his first visit to the Alamo City. The final because it would be his last full day on Earth. He was here to dedicate the new Aerospace Medical Center at Brooks Air Force Base. Ursula Perry shows what else happened that amazing day, a day that changed so many lives in San Antonio. A whirlwind trip that thrilled tens of thousands of San Antonians. Everywhere President Kennedy went, a crowd would gather, if only to watch the motorcade drive by. To see him live in color and Mrs. Kennedy and that big black car and all the Secret Service, it was it was pretty exciting. At one point, the motorcade left Broadway and came here, passing right in front of Cambridge Elementary. Children and teachers all came outside, lining the sidewalk, hoping to get a glimpse of the president and the first lady. Kenneth Pruitt was one of those kids 54 years ago today. He is just out of frame in this famous snapshot that hangs in City Hall in Cambridge of that shining final Camelot moment. You know how old I was, Hansley? Your fourth grade, right? I was your age. I was nine years old. Today, he is teaching his two grandchildren, now also Cambridge Elementary students, about that special moment in time when there was hope for the future and a presidential motorcade was caused to cancel classes, cancel work, and clap along the sidewalks of San Antonio. And they marched us out there and all stood in a line. It was just surreal. But not as surreal as the following day, when the principal at Cambridge would make an announcement no one wanted to hear. And it was after lunch, and he said, he didn't, he just said, the president's been shot in Dallas. And it was emotional, and when he was assassinated, it was a tough moment. Pruitt says classes would be canceled the next day, and as they began to mourn, they somehow knew, even then, that the world would always be different from that point on. Ursula Perry, KSAT 12 News. Among the sad repercussions from that day, John F. Kennedy High School in San Antonio would not be dedicated by the president it was named after, as he had promised. His return for that celebration cut short by an assassin's bullet.